Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and today I'm doing a tag video. I was tagged in a video and that's pretty exciting because that doesn't happen very often. I usually just do the video. Um, I don't normally wait to get tagged and I was tagged in it so that's cool. Um, this is the BB tag and it was created by BB's World. Uh, this was to celebrate her hitting a thousand subscribers I think back in January. It was several months in the past already so she is well past hitting a thousand subscribers and you know on her way to the 2,000 subscriber mark. Um, so it feels a little bit late to be doing this tag but you know what I was tagged so I'm going to do it anyway. I was tagged by the anime corner so thank you so much for tagging me in this video. I really appreciate it. Um, I will link up both of their channels down in the description below so please go and check them both out. Um, I'm just gonna get right into the questions though. And it's been a while since I looked at them. I actually have them written here but I wrote them when I got tagged and uh, it's been a few days now so I don't really remember what I am answering. So let us see. So the first question is would you rather buy used or new figures? I think uh, BB's World is more about uh, figure collecting. I'm not a figure collector. Uh, I have uh, had other interests like that in the past, but I am strictly manga, and if you know from my manga collecting, it's really just if I can get it in that format, I don't care if it's new or used. Because I'm not a figure collector and because I'm not really interested in expanding my collection at all, I just don't have the space or the money. I probably would just buy the one or two figures of characters that I really loved, but I already have them, so I don't really have any plans of adding any more figures to my collection. But the ones that I do have, at least you can know that they were all new. So there's that. Number two is have you ever pirated anime? No, I have not. Um, pirating is actually the act of duplication and the act of distributing the material. It is not the act of consuming the material. A consumer is not a pirater. The pirater is the person who steals. Um, steals the booty and distributes it. Uh, so I am not a pirate and I have not pirated, but I have purchased pirated material. And I think probably the um, best example of that was um, early in the 90s when Sailor Moon was just starting to air in Canada. Um, there was actually someone who was local who was doing the fan subbing of the Sail Sailor Moon series and I actually purchased from them the entire Sailor Moon series on VHS tape. Uh, the cost of it was very minimal because of course this person was sort of uh, trying to do a good deed and was not uh, want, didn't want to get into trouble and so was only selling the thing uh, based on the cost of the video cassettes which isn't 100% true, but or accurate, but um, I did end up getting uh, at least that series that way. I have watched tons of anime uh, from uh, streaming sites, and I have watched, or and I have read tons of manga, uh, over a thousand manga I have read on these illegal sites. You know now that I do not do this anymore. Um, and I'm an advocate for not doing this. This is actually very bad behavior. It is very detrimental to our um, industry and um, it's something that I don't like to hear about and I don't like even people to encourage other people to uh, try and do it and I hear a lot of people in our community saying oh just read it on here first um, and that's not okay that's also encouraging the pirating activity we should completely stop that um, but it's something that I've done in the past and I completely understand why people think that it's an okay thing to do it's not, but I can understand it. Um, one thing that I'm doing, at least for myself, uh, since sort of coming to this realization is that uh, for all the manga, I kept track of every single volume of manga that I read illegally, um, or at least read from scanlation sites, and I have been slowly buying those manga and adding them to my collection. I don't like a lot of the manga that I have read online, but I am buying them because it is a way for me to sort of uh, take back this thing that I have done and to support the artists. Um, we don't just support the artists that we like, we support all the artists. We don't just steal the material, we support all the artists and so that is the thing that I am doing. It's taking me some time, I can't just go out and buy it and I'm really happy when a lot of those titles are getting licensed into English because then I can pick up those titles in a language that I'd understand. Um, there's quite a few titles that are remaining that I'm going to actually have to go back and purchase the Japanese of, and I am not thrilled about it, but it is something that I am uh, going to be doing over some time. And I have probably bought 
200 of those titles so far, or 200 of those volumes, and it's it's a long trek, and uh, it's just what I have to do in order to rectify what I've done in the past. Number three, Blu-ray or DVD, what is your preference? Um, Blu-ray, I guess. I don't care. I rarely watch. I almost never watch anime. Um, I do watch movies occasionally, but uh, like I've said before, manga is my thing, and so um, I don't spend that much time. Like, I, I watch a lot of YouTube, but it's usually just sort of on in the background, and that's about it. Number four is what is a series you would like to see another season of? Um, like I said, I don't watch anime, or not very much, and uh, I think the only thing that would really draw me into wanting to watch anime is if uh, Nazca of the Valley of the Wind got uh, its uh, promised season or promised remake. Um, I believe um, uh, who ended up getting the license of that? Uh, someone ended up getting the license of uh, Nausicaa and had sort of promised that there was going to be this movie coming out and I was very excited to hear about it but I have not seen uh, any news of that since then. So that is definitely something that would encourage me to go out and watch the anime of. But other than that, I don't really care. Number five is, do you think the anime community is an accepting group? Um, they're like any group. I have come across really kind, nice people, and I've come across really horrible, rotten people. Uh, for the most part, I think that when people are passionate about something, um, if you uh, say anything that kind of negates their beliefs or their feelings, they feel like it's a personal attack, and so um, they can get quite defensive, and I think that's true about anywhere where there's someone is passionate about something. Um, and certainly, you know, my physical appearance seems to cause some people a, a problem, and so they tend to need to comment on it. Um, people have been commenting on my personal appearance since I was a child. It's not a big deal. Get over it. <laughs> it's one of the most boring comments I have ever heard. Apart from that, um, most of the people that I have talked to on here are super duper nice, and I really, really have enjoyed being on YouTube and talking to everyone, and I have had some really great conversations with some people, and I've um, got a really uh, expanded view of manga in general, so I'm really enjoying my time on here, and I really, um, you know, for the most part, I would say like 99% of the time, love the people uh, that are here, so that is great. I wasn't expecting, actually, when I started making videos, I was very prepared for the types of comments that I was gonna get, and uh, I was more shocked that I didn't get them right off. And so I actually really, really uh, appreciate uh, my viewers and definitely the people who comment on my videos. Um, it's been actually a very rewarding and nice experience. Uh, number six is what were the last ten videos you watched on YouTube? No cheating. Um, I'm gonna have to actually take you to my computer and we'll we'll scroll through and see what I've been watching. Um, I will say though that this is gonna be pre-filmed so the dates might not correspond to when I post this. And the other thing is that I listen to YouTube while I'm at work and I just let it play so um, who knows. I hope it's good stuff. We will see. So here is my history, and you can see that it's, uh, I don't know, t not terribly interesting. Uh, I wouldn't think to most people, but maybe it is to you. Uh, you can tell me. Uh, mostly I watch booktube and planner videos, and I think that's what you'll see as I scroll down. Um, so the Buzzword Readathon was just announced, and I probably will have a TBR going up. I don't know why it doesn't say that I've watched the full video, because I totally have um, more than once, so that's kind of crazy, but whatever. Um, at any rate, I definitely will be participating in that, so if that video goes up before this, I'm not entirely sure, but um, there's that. I watch a lot of planner videos, not just in Japanese, but I do like to watch planner videos. Usually I watch planner videos at home, and I listen to booktube videos at work, just because I'm on my computer all day. And booktube videos are not normally very uh, visual, they're usually a lot of talking, and so it makes sense for me to be able to listen to them, and I really appreciate and enjoy that. Um, 
and uh, every once in a while you come across a video that is very visual, and then I have to put it in a playlist and watch it later when I have time at home. I don't normally have a lot of time at home, though, so um, a lot of my watching is listening at work. And But I do eventually get back to it, um, so there you go. Uh, it's pretty much as you see it. Yeah, so a lot of Platter and BookTube videos and some MangaTube, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so, yeah, my YouTube playing around is not terribly interesting, I don't think. Maybe it is to you. Anyway, back to the tag. Uh, number seven is, do you think that Loot Crate type uh, purchases are worth the price or are they a ripoff? Um, it depends on what you are expecting to get out of them. The, uh, the reason that Loot Crate type purchases are popular is the unexpected gift. It's sort of like buying yourself a present and you know you don't know what's inside and it's very exciting. You're paying for the experience, you're not paying for the, the material inside. If you were going out and you were buying that, uh, you know, those those few things that are in the box plus the anime, you know, the one disc of anime or whatever you've got in there, um, no, there's there's no equivalent to that. You could buy all of that stuff for a fraction of the price of what you get in that that box. What you're doing with that box is that you are paying for the experience and the fun of opening that thing. So if that's what you're expecting to get out of it, then it's not a ripoff. But if you're expecting um, them to tailor what they buy for you and for you to get things um, of an equal value to what you would pay at a uh, really a good sale, then I would say, yeah, it's a big ripoff. Um, but I'm, I'm not necessarily opposed to those things. I think as long as you go in there, um, not blindly, and you're not buying every single uh, box that's out there, I think that they're, they're fine. They're fun. Um, I haven't purchased any of those things myself, just because my tastes and my collecting is very narrow. Um, but I have bought boxes like that for my rabbits, so I have had, you know, things shipped in, like including foods and toys and things, um, and they're all things that I couldn't buy here. So for me, that was a good experience. Um, I couldn't keep it up. It's way too expensive, especially because I don't live in the States. Um, usually uh, those boxes sort of originate in the States, and just importing that stuff can cost almost twice as much as anyone else. So. Um, it's not worth it from that point of view, but, you know, I did get a couple months of treats out of the deal, and I thought that was great. But, you know, I think most people are buying those boxes because they want to get anime and figures and not bark and twigs, like my bunnies are. Uh, number eight is, do bootleg or fake figures have a place, or should they all be destroyed? They have a place! And I've watched a few people do this, and I think everyone said they don't have a place. They do! They have a place. But... Not now. Um, they have a place in history, and uh, because of the way that the world is, and because we have access to all of these countries who are producing all of these materials, there's no excuse for uh, different people to be making bootleg materials. Um, uh, in the past, there were closed borders, and there were uh, closed lines of sight and you know people wanted that material and so they created it themselves and so there is sort of a level of collectability for these fakes and for um, copies of things and I think that's totally fair and legitimate um, some of the you know Star Wars Star Wars toys for example there's a ton of bootleg Star Wars toys and some of them are more valuable than the original Star Wars toys it's because of uh, lines of sight and because of the accessibility and um, because of the production of them of those things you know people still want them um, today I would say that if any country who has access to being able to purchase Star Wars toys online is bootlegging no those are not okay and I think that those things actually will not appreciate in value in the future that's my prediction anyway um, so as far as um, anime and manga go um, Today, no. In the past, sure, fair. Um, I have, for example, um, an Astro Boy comic from 1965. It's uh, technically a fake. It was written without the consent of Tezuka, but it's a fine collectible. And um, because of the history of it and because of uh, the time period, it totally makes sense and uh, has a place in 
collecting history and in history of items and the history of things. But um, today I would frown on anyone who is making bootlegs of something that they have access to, because that is not okay. So that's it for the tag. Um, I really enjoyed answering those questions. I hope you enjoyed hearing my answers. Certainly BB's experience in the community is very different than my own because, you know, we have very different interests within anime and manga, and uh, that's really exciting. It's just so nice to see that our community can be so broad in its sort of interests. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed answering those questions. Thank you so much to the Anime Corner for tagging me. Um, I think I am going to tag a few people, but I'm going to leave your name down below, um, just because I can't think off the top of my head who might want to do this. Um, so I am going to just list a couple names down below. If you want to do this tag, please feel free, let me know if you do it, and I will definitely go check it out. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.